What is up guys? My name is Arcadiac and welcome back to some more Bloodborne New Game Plus. For today, we're back in the Cathedral Ward and we're going to be exploring Old Yarnum. Now, I usually save this area for last, mostly because it's kind of a pain in the ass when you first start out. And I just don't really like that machine gunner and I don't really feel like dealing with him beginning of the game. So, I usually just save this area for last, like I said before. But, um, it's not that this area is really that tough, it's just, yeah, I just don't like it like at all maybe if de Jura wasn't there i wouldn't worry about it as much but you know and de Jura is the hunter by the way in case you don't know but basically we're gonna head down these steps we're gonna light the lamp and then we're gonna go explore the old yarnum area this area is not really that big though so i should probably be able to cover it in one video okay town is long abandoned hunters not wanted here we already know about that But yeah, um, in case you didn't know, that was DeJura speaking, and he's basically just a hunter. Uh, we'll kill him in this video. He's not really that tough. But not really sure about his New Game Plus uh, counterpart, considering I haven't played New Game Plus before until just now. Okay, I'm going to head down here first. And we can't open that door yet, because it's locked from the other side. Okay, so now we're gonna head up the ladder. It's taking forever to get up this ladder. I didn't even realize how big it was. I haven't been playing Bloodborne like in a while until I decided to do a series on it. So sometimes it's just like old areas feel like they're new to me. Did I get that item over there? No, I did not. So let's get those blood vials. We're probably going to need them. Now basically, these guys, they don't really give you much shit, so I kind of just run past them. They're basically like lower level enemies anyway. Ow. Not today, bros. I ain't feeling it. So basically he says like he has to stop us or something. The real reason he wants to stop us though is because like he feels bad for the beasts or something like that. He was a hunter to begin with but he came to the realization that the beasts that hunters hunt were like people and he didn't want to be a murderer or something along those lines. Which I totally understand but at the same time, you kind of have to lose the fact that they are not people anymore. They're beasts, you know. You might as well just put them out of their misery. At least that's how I look at it. Okay, now we got to be careful in here. We want to run like a bitch in here because he shoots up that place and the place just pretty much blows all to hell because there's a bunch of, like, explosives in there. Oh. Where'd you come from? Hey. All right, we're good. All right, what'd you guys drop? Blood vials, antidotes. Antidotes are gonna come in handy later because the boss fight in this area, which will probably be in the next video, um, the blood starved beast. It uses a lot of poison attacks, and we're definitely gonna need antidotes. Okay, I got. More antidotes. Bloodstone shards. 
can probably use those to level up other weapons I haven't leveled up yet, but the only two weapons I really use are my daggers and then hopefully my burial scythe once I get it leveled up. Okay, cold blood do. Alright, I'm gonna wait for these guys to come down here so I can pick them off. Hey, no. Hey, whoa, shit. Okay, now there's a hunter up here, and you can kind of cheese him a little bit, but... Eh, you know, at first we'll take care of Dejur, and then we'll get him, because... Dejur will friggin' fire machine gun bullets at us, and I really don't feel like dealing with that for the fight. Let's just hope Dejur doesn't really kick our ass too hard. I'm gonna use the old hunter bone real quick, so we can dodge a little bit better. He's not that hard to kill, you just kind of have to like either knock him off the edge or just do your best to like visceral attack him. Oh yeah, we should be good. Hey. Oh, that's why I didn't have my gun on. I was like, why aren't I able to visceral attack? <laughs> You know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna knock you off the edge. That works for me. I already got everything he drops anyway, so it's no big deal. I believe he drops the powder keg badge or something like that. Let's you buy the stake driver weapon. But I already have that, so it's not like it matters to me. Okay, now we're gonna head down here and we're gonna take care of that other hunter. Come on, bro. Just like pinning this guy in a corner, it's like too easy. Hey, who said you could hit back? All right, bone marrow ash. Bone marrow ash like strengthens your quicksilver bullets, but I've never used it, like, ever. I'll probably test it out on my own time, but I just never really found the need to use it. Okay, now we're gonna head down here so we can pick up the Chart Hunter set. I already have it, but might as well to cover up the whole area. I'm just gonna run through it real quick. There's a lot of monsters in here, and I just don't really feel like fighting them. Tempering blood gemstone. More vials. Hey. Okay, now the charred hunter set should be up these. What's this say? Red moon hangs low. Beast roll the streets. Oh, okay. But yeah, the Chart Hunter set should be right here. Yep. Okay, picked up the set. Should search that body before I leave. Cold Blood do. Dodge that guy. Okay, now we're back up here. If, where the hell am I even at? Uh, okay, we're, we're good. I was like, where am I for a second? Alright, now we can head up through here, and this is the last area of Old Yarnum, pretty much. And basically, I just run through this part because there's nothing really good down here anyway. Except for the ritual blood at the um, altar, but we'll pick that up on our way out. It's right up on this altar. Okay, got the ritual blood, I'm gonna make a left. Got some bloodstone shards.
Gonna cheese you guys. Pick this up. Okay, we're gonna climb up this ladder, open that door so we have a little shortcut. And this is pretty much just the last part of Old Yarnum, like up here. There's a couple werewolves we'll have to kill, but no big deal. That's if we don't die from these stupid idiots first. Oh shit, no bro, no. You are not killing me, no. Do not kill me. Let me get my lock on off, that's why. All right. I probably should have took care of those uh, little beasts first. Okay, you're dead. You're dead. Alright, come on, Wolfie. Come on. Alright, that takes care of those few. Now we just gotta kill that one. My weapon staggers pretty good, so... I don't have to worry about, like, dodging him too much. Okay, now we gotta be careful here, because one of these fuckers pops out of the wall. Okay, we're gonna pick this up. Then we're gonna run up here and open that door we couldn't open at the beginning. That one that was barred from the other side. And then I believe there's a chest up here, a body. Yep, okay, fire paper. That'll come in handy later, I'm sure. Whatever this thing is, bloodstone shard. Fuck you, buddy. Another werewolf. Okay, you're dead. Got a beast blood pellet, and what's here? Quicksilver bullets. Got ten of them. Hey, spider. Don't disappear, I'm in now. Alright, we're good to go. Alright, guys, that's pretty much it for old Yarnum. In the next like room up there like that little cathedral that'll be where the blood starved beast is at i'll take care of that boss fight in my next video don't forget to like and subscribe and yeah i'll catch you later all right ciao